Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use J combo box in Java Swing. So let's start the video. So guys, first of all, I'm creating a new project by going to File, New Project, and here I'm giving my project name as J combo demo. You can give any project name. So just I'm giving name to my project. And guys, here is the my location where my project will be saved. And here we need to select project specific J. And I'm unchecking module info. Click on next button and click on finish button. And guys, you can see the project has been created here. And now I'm going to select this SRC. And in this, I'm going to add J frame because I'm going to create GUI based application. So you can right click and add J frame, or you can uh, go to this visual classes and swing. And here you can select J frame. So now, guys, here you need to provide your frame name and the path package name so frame name i am giving as combo frame okay and package name if you don't want to provide that's okay i am giving package name as cs corner and click on finish guys so you can see uh, the frame has been added over here i am just clicking on this design view so that i can design my um, gui so now here first of all i am selecting this panel that is content pane and i am changing the layout so i am not keeping uh, different Fold layout. I'm making it absolute layout. Okay. Also, now I'm selecting my frame and I'm changing title. So you can provide any suitable title to your uh, frame. And now, guys, I'm going to design a simple GUI where I'm going to take one combo box, one uh, text field, and one button. Whatever I type in um, this text field, and if I click on button, it should be added to my combo box. So here, guys, I have taken combo box, and now this combo box is having one property known as model property if you want to add any items to this combo box you can just click on this uh, ellipsis that is three dots and you will get this screen here you can add the items whatever you are uh, whatever you want so just uh, keep on adding by pressing enter so here i have added few names of country here my spelling is wrong that's okay i'm just demonstrating you now guys i'm just running it and you can see i'm getting this items in combo box okay so combo box is what at a time you can select only one item and guys another thing i would like to tell you about combo box if you want user to type some item over here then you need to make one property true that is editable property so if you check this editable true then what will happen at runtime you can type the item so can you see now here i'm able to type previously i was not able to type okay so this is these are two important properties of combo box now i'm uh, just going to uncheck this also i'm going to delete the items which i have added because i want the user uh, to add the items at runtime time whatever user types in text box that should get added to this drop down so guys i'm just taking label text field and button so i'm just changing text uh, of this label so i'm just typing enter something and let me expand this text box also i'm going to change text of this uh, button and i will make the text as add um, okay now let's change the font okay so i'm just selecting all the control and i'm going to font property and guys here i have just increased font of this so go to font property and select whatever you want of uh, font you like okay now i'm resizing my uh, label because the text is not visible then guys so now after this i will be changing uh, control name or variable name of all this control so for this text box i'm giving txt items for button i'm giving btn add okay and for this combo box i'm going to give name as uh, what uh, cb items so these are the control which i will be using in coding so i have changed their name now i'm firing a click event of this button so just double click the action perform event will be here now here i am typing what string s is equal to my text box name that is txt items dot get 
text so whatever users type in text box that i'm going to retrieve here and then guys after that i'm going to add this item to combo box so we have add item method so i'm just writing cb items dot add item and what i will be adding the things which i'm having in text box that is nothing but the data which we have in variable s so just pass this s variable done guys now uh, let's uh, run and check it out so whether we are getting perfect output or not so guys now uh, here you can see whatever i'm typing in text box and if i click on this add button then uh, the things will be added to my what uh, this combo box so see now i've just type india and you can see it got added and guys now i have to manually erase this okay and i'm typing something by manually erasing this so i don't want this uh, manual part i want as soon as i click on add button the item should be added to my drop down or combo box and this text box should get erased so simply for that what i will do i will just write my text box name that is txt item and then I will be using set text method. So txt items dot set text in uh, parenthesis. You can just simply pass double quotes. So it will do what? It will clear your text field. Okay, so done, guys. Now let me run it again and show you. So here I am running it again, and now you can see I am just typing some text over here. So I have just type India. I am clicking on add button. So you can see my text box got blank. Okay. Similarly, I am adding few more items and just trying to show you that yes, really it got added. Okay. So I hope, guys, by uh, following my video, you are able to use combo box in your project. If you like the video, do hit on like button. If any query, you can post in comment box. I will surely reply to your queries and guys if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit bell icon and guys i'm there on social media you can just uh, follow me uh, on my social media the link is in description box you can join my telegram channel if you want to receive free pdf and notes thank you guys for watching my video till end i'll see in my next video till that bye bye and take care